Tana Mojo is one of the most controversial influencers of all time. And even though she's been problematic on a number of occasions, people still follow her for her captivating personality. However, not everyone is buying what she's selling and tons of influencers have tried to warn us about what Tana's really like. I'm Mackenzie and let's get into the top 10 influencers that warned us about Tana Mojo. And at number 10, Khloe Kardashian. Chloe and Tana are two people you probably never expected to be linked together. However, after Tana tweeted out about Tristan Thompson, Chloe came to his defense. Tana had a birthday party over the weekend and tweeted out after, quote, All I know to tweet about my birthday party last night is that Tristan Thompson was one of the first attendees. Like, babe, where's true? And obviously, any interaction that Tristan has with any girls that aren't Chloe are gonna be highly talked about in the media, and Tana was obviously hoping to gain some clout off of his name. But Chloe decided to clap back by liking a very shady tweet about Tana. That read, quote, shut the F up. This screams attention seeking at its finest because you know damn well that man's gonna make headlines over anything pertaining to women. You're a bird, don't speak on true either, weird ho. I think that really just says it all. And at number nine, simply Nessa. Nessa and Tana were really good friends when Tana first started gaining traction on the platform. However, things changed quickly and the two became sworn enemies and feuded for years. Nessa finally decided to call out Tana on her behavior in 2020 in a video called Dear Tana Mojo. In the video, she explained how Tana was very microaggressive towards her and would treat her differently because of her race. Tana also started multiple fights with Nessa over the years. Once was when Tana took something out of context and made a huge deal out of an Instagram comment. Another time, Tana made a video with Shane Dawson where they spoke openly about Tana and Nessa's feud. That video not only had Tana's fans after her, but Shane's too. Basically, anytime Tana would bring up Nessa's name, insane amounts of hate were sent towards her. After Nessa's video, Tana apologized, but Nessa didn't accept it. And at number eight, PewDiePie. YouTube decided to award Tana Mojo with the 2019 Creator of the Year Award, shocking pretty much anyone who watches the platform. Many people spoke out against the choice, saying she didn't deserve to win the award. On a stream following the event, PewDiePie shared his thoughts saying, quote, it's so cringe to rip on Tana, like yeah, she's insufferable, but I don't wanna make a whole deal out of it. Adding, quote, when Tana said, I don't deserve this, we all felt that. But that's not all, he took some more digs at her, saying, quote, she's so humble, she doesn't feel like creator of the year, she's so down to earth, she's just like us. No, you literally don't deserve it, that's why you feel like that. Felix then went on to say that all award shows are BS anyways, and he's not mad because it really doesn't mean anything, but I mean, that shade was pretty deadly. And at number seven, Bella Thorne. These two have a long and complicated history, and it's difficult to pinpoint why exactly they hate each other. But all you need to know is that they do. The two started out dating, but after a few rocky years, they turned into enemies. In the beginning, many people thought Tana was just clout chasing Bella because she got a lot of clout off of the relationship. However, Tana always denied this. Only months after the two broke up, Tana got engaged to Jake Paul, to Bella's dismay. And Bella didn't keep this a secret and posted online about how mad she was. After this, the two got into another feud when Bella made a song about Tana called SFB, which stands for stupid effing B. One of the lyrics in the song is, quote, you wanted me for clout and I should have thrown you out. So maybe Bella thinks Tana was actually clout chasing after all. And at number six, Brooke Schofield. Tana made a YouTube story time about Brooke called, I caught my best friend hooking up with my man. In the story, Tana basically explains that after a party, she caught her BFF and the guy that she was dating hooking up in the movie theater room of her house. Tana never named who the person was, but in typical Tana fashion, she included so many details about the person in the story that everyone figured out who was pretty quickly. And the BFF in the story was Brooke. However, Brooke tried to clear things up in her own video where she exposed some holes in Tana's story. Apparently the only reason that Brooke even started talking to the guy in the first place is because Tana started heavily pursuing someone that Tana knew that Brooke was interested in. And Brooke felt that she wanted to get back at Tana, even though Brooke claims that she never actually hooked up with the guy. Halfway at number five, Billie Eilish. Tana decided to make the best of a bad situation when she made an entire video about the fact that Billie Eilish decided to unfollow her. We're not sure why Billie decided to follow Tana in the first place, but it was most likely because Tana made a YouTube video copying Billie's style. But after Tana announced her engagement to Jake Paul, Billy commented on the photo, quote, you and yikes. Tana then DM'd Billy asking if she was coming to their wedding, to which Billy replied, just no. <laughs> after all that shade, Billy decided she was done seeing Tana on her timeline and decided to unfollow. 
Tana then decided to make an overly dramatic video about the situation, ensuring that she used the event for clout. And at number four, Jordan Morona. Jordan Morona was Tana's manager for most of her career, but they recently parted ways. Before they split, Jordan was featured on Tana's MTV reality TV show, and he made her look terrible. In one of the episodes, Jordan takes her to the doctor because she has a horrible cough, and the whole time she's trying to leave and making light of the situation, even saying that she was going to smoke as soon as she left the doctor's office. Then later on, there's an episode where Tana launches a perfume, but she sleeps in through the launch date, and Jordan is left scrambling to work it out. Even though Jordan put the weight of the launch on his back, Tana wasn't appreciative whatsoever, and even threw the whole thing in his face later. After the episode's air, Tana's fans trashed her, and she was forced to apologize. And at number three, James Charles. If you've heard the name Tana Mojo, you've probably also heard about TanaCon, the disastrous convention that she threw that left her in one of her biggest scandals ever. At that time, one of the biggest influencers speaking out against the event was James Charles, who at the time was actually really good friends with Tana. After the event was canceled, he tweeted out, quote, I told her not to do half the things that she did yesterday and she didn't listen, as usual, and things went to shit. I've tried to make our friendship work for months, but she has no respect for other people's time, and I can't believe you guys can't effing recognize that. I do believe Tana had good intentions for this convention, but her ego got in the way of kids' safety. And at number two, iDubs. Ian Carter, known online as iDubs, was one of the first people to publicly call out Tana on all of her problematic behavior, and he made one of his infamous content cop videos on her. Their feud started when Tana tweeted that Ian should take his own life because he said insensitive words in the past. But then the internet dug up multiple videos of Tana saying the n-word, and the tone she used was incredibly derogatory. Most of the video was Ian taking aim at Tana's stance on saying the n-word and bringing up all the embellishments in her story times. Then he even decided to go to one of her meet and greets and say the n-word straight to her face. That ended with Tana making an embellished story time of the whole incident, proving Ian's point once and for all. And finally, number one, Tana herself. Tana is one of those people that is constantly exposing herself. And she's been in so many scandals over the years that she's probably broken the record for apology videos made on the platform. She's been called out for saying racial slurs, lying, cheating, and clout chasing. And she's feuded with countless people over the years. She always talks about being open with her fans and has shared a lot about her life and past with her followers that many YouTubers would never do. One of Tana's worst moments was her MTV reality show, and sadly when Tana wasn't the one editing the footage, she actually looked really terrible in it. And she had such terrible behavior that she ended up becoming the villain of her own show. This made a lot of fans think long and hard about who their idol really is. So that's all for the video guys, let me know your thoughts below. But before I go, I'm gonna shout out some comments from a video on influencers that lied to their fans. Sin Satellina said, creep show art wasn't even a dishonorable mention, I demand a recount. So I actually have heard about the creep show art thing. I haven't really looked into it a whole bunch to know exactly what happened. I kind of saw Smokey Glow's video on it just a little bit. Uh, it seems like a very complicated situation. Um, I think we were debating making a video about it, but me and Johnny just don't know enough, so we were kind of like not sure about it. Uh, we might cover it in the future though. Then Ali said, Tana could be the only person on this list and still be the same length. That is a fact, she's literally been in so many scandals, it's crazy. I mean, good thing we made this video that you're watching right now. Then someone else said, waiting patiently to hear Max take on Tati coming back to YouTube. Come on, gal. Um, we actually have a video coming up on that soon, but for me, honestly, I think she deserves to come back. I think everyone's coming back. It's like, if your fans want you back and they'll watch your stuff, you should come back. I honestly feel that for everyone. I feel like every creator should come back on YouTube, and if people watch them, then that's fine, and they deserve to be there. Alright guys, that's all for the video today. Thanks so much for sticking around if you made it all the way here. If you liked the video and want to see more, make sure to like and sub to the channel below. I've been your host, Mackenzie Smith. Make sure to check us out on social media, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Someone that Tana knew that Brooke was interested in, and Brooke felt that she wanted to get back at Tana, even though Brooke says that... Even though Brooke even though Brooke claims that she never actually hooked up with the guy. <laughs> publicly call out Tana on all of her problematic behavior. And he, and he made, and he made one of his infamous content cop videos on her. Their feud started when Tana,